The title of my book is um, A Portrait of Mexican American Civil Rights in South Texas from uh, 1930 through 1979. It is about, about uh, Hispanic uh, individuals, the Hispanic population of South Texas. Uh, it deals with the struggle uh, that Hispanics underwent uh, during the time frame of the research uh, in the book. I loved history and I was always reading history books about all the presidents and all the famous people that were written about. And I looked for Mexican American culture and books and found none. And I always had this question in the back of my mind, where is my history? When I went back and did the research, I found so much history that I, had, that I had never heard. So I wanted to bring awareness to our young people who have no idea uh, how it is that they benefit from all the things in our societies today because of the struggles that their parents and grandparents and so on went through. And not only that, but um, I believe that other cultures benefit from learning about the history and understand where Hispanics are coming from because for such a long time, Hispanics were, were referenced as dirty, as um, uh, illiterate uh, and so on. Uh, and that is not true because uh, Hispanics, when given the tools, can achieve high levels of education and uh, become very successful individuals. Uh, but sometimes when other cultures are not familiar with a, with a different culture, they tend to maybe generalize, and, and, and that's not a good thing. Uh, I remember when I was in my junior year in high school, I went to see my high school counselor, and the school was, um, uh, for the most part, um, Anglo teachers and administration. I went to my, my counselor and I told her that I wanted to go to college, and she looked at me and she said, you're not college material. She said, Hispanic girls get married and they have children and that's what they do. So get it out of your mind that you're going to college. I was so, I was so disillusioned by those words and I believed it. And so as a consequence, I ended up getting married and, and had my first child. But in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, I want an education because without an education, I will not make it out of the fields. And so, from that point on, when I was about 20, I began to go back to school. In one semester here, one semester there, all throughout my life, until, until you know, recently when, when I finally finished and got my master's. So you see, Hispanic Heritage Month means a lot to me because it brings awareness of all those things that a lot of people don't know. To the Hispanic community and especially to our Hispanic youth, I would like to say that we have a very powerful and rich and beautiful culture within our community. Uh, the Hispanic culture is based on family unity. Uh, there's a lot of traditions, a lot of traditional dishes, a lot of traditional um, uh, festivals and um, family activities. Uh, there's a lot of music and food and, and just family unity that is permeated in, in, those cult, in that culture that, that um, is just very rich and very beautiful. It's my identity. It's my culture. It's my heritage. It's what's been handed down to me from my parents. And um, as I said, you know, going back and doing all this uh, history, not only of my family, but the history of our people in South Texas, uh, it finally gave me a sense of identity and who I was. And I actually went looking for individuals who had lived the history and did a lot of interviews with people. Uh, so their stories are in that book. Uh, if people are interested, um, my book is on Amazon and uh, Barnes & Noble online. And I'm also writing uh, another book on civil rights that should be coming out sometime next year um, because there's so much that can be covered.